Download YouTube videos, pop up play, torrents, remove ads on everything, improve your video quality, upgrade your audio experience. Well, there are a lot of things you can do with your Android phone and apps, well, there are apps to help you with that. Now, these apps, they happen to be free and these are the apps that we are going to be talking about in today's video. Now, I hope you find them useful and I hope they find their way onto your phones in 2020. Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Retech, and if you do end up finding this video interesting, please consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get this video started. The Play Store is where we get the majority, if not all of our apps from, right? But it's not the only way to get apps, and no, I'm not talking about shady APK downloads. F-Droid is a free and open source Android repository, so why F-Droid? Well, F-Droid has a couple of things going for it. One, it does not have any of Google's restrictions. For example, ad blockers. Now, at the end of the day, we the end users are Google's commodity. Now, Google is pushing ads to us and that's their main aim. So anything that might affect that cannot be listed on the Play Store. Also, all apps on F-Droid, they are free and made so by the devs themselves. So, no, that doesn't mean we get paid apps for free here. It's just that we get some good quality apps from passionate devs that cannot be found on the Play Store for various reasons. Now, installing F-Droid is pretty simple. Head on over to fdroid.org, tap download and do what you do for a regular APK install. Now app number two is Newpipe. I know, I know a lot of you use YouTube Vanced and yes, I'd love, I'd kind of love it if you didn't. Cause hey, watch ads, support us creators. If you don't like the ads, go on, get YouTube premium. But if your aim is privacy, not to share any data with YouTube while still enjoying a host of premium functionality, then Newpipe is an app you should most definitely consider getting. It doesn't even require you to sign into your Google account so no data is being shared, nothing for YouTube or Google to track. Just use it. Newpipe offers quite a few options. The first tab here shows the trending videos. You can search for videos or channels that you want. Hit subscribe. Now remember, this subscription is just for the device, meaning it's again not being shared with YouTube and subscribing with Newpipe, uh, it's not counting towards the channel subscription. So here, this subscription is not being counted towards c 4 Tech subscription count. The next tab here shows off the local subscriptions and the final tab shows the bookmark videos. Now from a visual perspective, we get a light mode, a dark mode and a total black mode that looks absolutely gorgeous on AMOLED panels. The most important part of the feature list is that Newpipe supports background play of just the audio, thus saving data if it's only music you want to listen to. It also lets us download videos based on the resolution of our choice or just the audio itself, all straight to the phone. Now while just watching video, just like with a native YouTube app, we can tap to forward or rewind, choose the resolution, pop the player out and change playback speeds. In fact, there are more granular controls here than with the stock app. Like for example, there are more playback speed options and the pop-up player can be resized. Okay, enough with new pipe. Now before we get back to the Play Store apps, let's take a look at just one more app from F-Droid. Now this one, Blockada, I'll keep it really short, I promise. Now I'm sure you've seen some websites, you know, uh, they have annoying full screen ads that drive us crazy. And sometimes the level of ads on sites and even apps, it's atrocious. Blockada helps cut these off. Just install it from Ebroid's repo. Turn it on, boom, ads gone. Now, this is Sharit's interface. Clean, right? When was the last time you saw it this clean? Just see the log, see how many requests it's blocked already. Impressive, right? Now, of course, there are going to be some apps that don't work well with ad blockers. And if you still need to use them, you can add those apps as an exception here so that Blockada lets them through. This app, it's a lifesaver. It helps save data, battery and time. 
Okay, enough with F-Droid. As promised, let's return to the Play Store. Now, if you want to push your video shooting to the next level, then the stock video camera app, it's just not gonna cut it. You know, at least with what most stock apps offer these days. Now, here's the problem. When you shoot with a stock app, most brands do not offer manual control for video. Even Samsung, who used to offer it, has kind of removed it with the One UI update. Enter open camera. With open camera, we get a lot more options that help improve the video shooting experience, providing the guy behind the camera with some very important must-have functionality. For example, bitrate is one that we get to select. Then there are the options to lock exposure, white balance, focus, etc. Now take the shot for example. This was shot with a stock app. Exposure, white balance, they were unlocked. Now see the same shot. See how the exposure and white balance lock helped us get the footage we actually wanted. It's kind of useful at a lot of places. Now here's the side by side. Now, look at this shot. This was taken with the Pixel 3 XL. If I shot it with a regular camera app, it would look something like this. That's because the camera would continuously keep the focus on the center. So this cool bring into focus shot, it isn't something I could have got with the stock app. I could go on and on and show you more examples of how open camera is useful. It even offers a lot more functionality, not just with videos, but also for still images, especially when the phone has camera to API support and detailing everything open camera has to offer. It's an entire video by itself. Now, if you want to actually see that video, leave a comment below and I'll try to make that happen. For now, just know that most phones uh, with most phones, open camera is a step up, especially when shooting video. Moving on, I love SwiftKey. I love the number row it offers. I love its themes. It's what I've used forever. But SwiftKey does not have Tenor GIF integration. Now that's something Jibo does offer, and Tenor has C4E Tech GIFs built in. So jumping between both keyboards is something I do quite often. Now if you're someone who juggles keyboards, then hey, if you're on a Pixel phone, then it's no issue. Just tap this and you're done. But if you're, say, on an Oppo phone or another phone with a heavy skin, then switching keyboards can be cumbersome. Here's where Keyboard Switcher steps in. With the Keyboard Switcher app, we can have a small floating icon that we can tap to switch between keyboards at any time. It's very simple, it's easy to use, and it's very nifty. Now with that, we get to the end of part one of this video. We are out of time. Now click here to continue to part two. Here's where we take a look at, okay, actually, you know what? Click here to continue to part two. And here's where we take a look at five more awesome apps and wrap up this video. And let's hope you get those apps onto your phone as well. But before we do, let me know how many of these apps did you find useful? How many of these were you aware of before watching this video? Uh, how many of you knew of all five? Leave a comment below. And also while you're down there, Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till the next part, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. Ciao.